Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of the Mare Nostrum campaign in Europa Universalis 4. So our troops, our Condatiari, are hiding in the corner. And uh, apparently we need to like get them to work to actually... To actually get future people to use our Condatiari. I don't know. I I'm very curious to see what the, what the malice is. Austria once again. Threatening to break the alliance. Okay, here we go. We've got England landing troops in Calais, directly adjacent to a 20 stack. And he's got a 13 stack in Essex. I think he's coming for my army. And yet then he stops in Holland. You know what it must be? He's probably having a hard time getting military access through these countries. So he comes up to here, and then he doesn't want to take the straight crossing because of the penalty. And so then he just decides to go a different direction. So I guess we're waiting for France to take Picardy. And when they succeed, eventually, then these two guys can fight each other. I mean, he can't hurt our, our capital. He's not doing anything to it. He's just marching around. France, you should really tank... to attack these stacks separately. You have 40,000 troops against the 30,000. Where's your other stack? I only see 20. What are you doing down in Portugal, France? Clearly, no, no. The way you win the war is you siege down England first. Then you worry about his allies. At least when he's got 30, 35,000 troops, you dummy. Aachen's declared war on Liege. Okay, let's take our tech here. We don't have enough money to build any more... Temples. We'll keep on building ships. We're doing excellent on trade income. Three point uh, six point nine three ducats per month from trade. Okay, um, so Aachen has declared war on Liège. Really? So Liège has no allies, and we have. I could have sworn I had. Had I not fabricated a claim on him. Maybe I thought I had like 13. Maybe it does come down. Does does your Oh shit, he is taking the crossing penalty now. No, we need a general anyway. Oh no, we're too low on points. Um We got a tech advantage. We got a straight crossing. Can't hire a general from here. Can't demand military points. Our heir is 10. Alright, looks like we're making our leader into a general. A 114. You cannot assign a monarch or an heir as a leader of a Kandatiari. Damn it! Well, why not? Fine. Apparently, we're just going to take this nasty penalty against freaking Richard Plantagenet. Stupid Kandatiari. This is costing us a lot of manpower. Let's retreat all the way down here. Will it even let us? No, we just ret retreated to here. Excellent. That's what I wanted. Yeah. You know, it might be the, the fort. Preventing us from getting over there. Yep, yeah, the Calais Fort's causing problems. Of course, we can't get military access through you. We should probably not, um... ...really do much of anything here. France is not playing well. They are not stack-wiping England. I don't know why. Uh, normally, in the previous version, I could swear, sometimes you could, if you moved onto a fort, you could then move onto another adjacent fort, because there's like really weird squirrely things going on with zone of control. But it doesn't seem like that's the case anymore. I mean, at least in this case, we're not allowed to move, which is interesting. Can we please revoke the Condottieri con track contract? Oh, excellent, he finally took that. We're still not allowed to move past it. 
Alright. Fair enough. We're participating. At least now we're safe. There we go. Now France has brought up his other 20 stack. He's finally decided, okay, maybe I should kill all these guys. So England's down to 21,000 troops. He's still at war here. Our goal is to take Loon. Right? So we want to just declare war, siege down Loon. And then when this guy takes this province, we take Loon. It'll become his capital, we'll already have it sieged. We get instant war score, done. Easy. We need one more month of stuff. Yeah, look, I have no I have no spy network here. I'm I wanna test this. We have 10.08. Let's go ahead and fabricate the claim. That should put us down to 0.8. And then let's pay very close attention here at the end of this month. I'm assuming he has no army. This is a war of opportunity, we have to do it. No, he actually does have 7,000 troops. Aachen's being sieged down by Liege. Did he win? What the hell? Yeah, Aachen got stack wiped, and Liege is actually winning. Seventy-five hundred troops on Tech Four. I think we can beat him. You have rented out. Kandatiari that can be pulled back. You can now pull back your Kandatiari, Kandatiari troops. I think we do. That's a useful alert. Especially because we're about to go to war here. Okay, well that was a quick 18 months. We'll keep an eye on England. There's still a chance we might do something with it. Unfortunately, now we'd have to siege down a level 3 fort. I bet Liege is going to get unlawful territory. But it shouldn't matter. He'll probably take that land over. I imagine he has a claim? No, no claims. Interesting. So we're really low on manpower. I'm very curious to see if they've changed anything with mercs. You know, like if you can if you can use a lot of mercs still and still have crazy high merc amounts. So he's got a hundred war score there, full annexation as expected. And then what will he do with the unlawful territory? Good news is that that probably just destroyed a uh, fort. Wait, he's at war, so there can't be unlawful territory. I think he's just going to let me siege down his capital. Which we can handle. I do not think we can vassalize Liege. No. That's crazy. Taking this one, we can barely handle. Only one person would join, be eligible for a coalition. We gotta be very concerned about the coalition. You know, the beginning of the game, that's just what it comes down to.
We're suffering some attrition. Um, I'm gonna probably gonna pull up a couple of these damaged troops back. Try to avoid a little bit of the extra attrition we're suffering. Here's the Burgundies up now. I'd certainly like to attack him. Nice wall breach. Good work, sir. Right, and then the other thing is we had 0.8 and now it's gone. Let's build it up for one month. We now have 1.8. Stop. And let's see how much this thing goes away by. Over the next monthly tick. Also, we should be using this diplomat. Um... So we're at 1.8 Spy Network. Wow! We lost one! It goes down by one per month, holy crap! That's a lot. And it doesn't say that anywhere in there that you, you're gonna lose your Spy Network. Is there like a... Spy Network list in here? No? Estates? Levies. Okay, so DDR Jake said in some cases the spy network will never tick down below twenty five, fifty, or sixty. Well, which one is it? Is it all of them? Like, once you get it to that point, then it's capped there? I feel like the tooltip should be in there. Alright, please take this fort. Looks like we are almost to our force, our naval force limit. Yeah, there we go. We got the last ship queued up. Right now we have... Um, Very low manpower. Sailors is totally fine. Complete non-factor. We've got 28 light ships with a force limit of 33, so we could build a few more. We go over the limit by a bit. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll take the claim on Ghent. France just won their war. How do we not get pop-ups about that? I feel like we should have had more countries as special interests. We missed out on that peace deal. So France took back his uh, territory here, one province down there. He did not take back his cores here, which is weird. England. They still have 16k troops. But we have 13k. And he'd have to suffer a naval landing penalty because he doesn't have a lot of territory here. Maybe we could do it. Let's hopefully see if we can win this, this war without having to do a fight. Thank you. So, the question though is... See, now he's friendly toward us. <laughs> if I tried to attack him... I'm not 100% convinced I could win. Portugal would not join Castile would, though. Okay, that, that shuts that down. <laughs> nope! <laughs> no war with uh, England. Not gonna happen. We do have 68 power projections, so that's quite nice. And we have no truce with Burgundy. So, Burgundy would probably be the way to go. We could try to take back, like, Breda or Brabant. I'm assuming, uh, culture-wise. Yep, everything in this area is fine. Nice big culture group for us. Beautiful. The rival of our rival is Cleves! I know it's not pronounced Cleves, I just think it's hilarious. 
to upset people by calling it cleavies. I like our flag. All right, let's drop maintenance a bit. Let's um, keep fleet maintenance at full. Let's repay all of our loans. We got some money from the from the actual war. Let's build some buildings. We need to get some temples out. 0.26 sounds pretty good. An extra half duck at a month we'll be making soon. Eking our way out in this world. 13.98. Actually, 13.24. Don't know what just changed. We have our fort turned on. I don't think we need that. It automatically turns it on every time we go to war. No royal marriage allowed. Denmark's still pretty happy with us overall. We'll top off relations there. And East Frisia. Man, we need to see Gelray. It's allied to Scotland. It's Burgundy. It's got to be Burgundy. I had Aragon and Milan. You know, it seems like maybe, maybe it's just me. It seems like the AI is doing a better job of securing alliances now. It really feels like they are doing a lot better in that way. Between the, the, uh... The Trade League guarantees, and then just them getting allies, they, they seem like they're doing a good job. But, we're almost to the point where we're going to have favors with Austria. In, you know, forever. I just got an achievement called, That's a Grand Navy. What? Build up your navy to your country's maximum naval force limit. <laughs> okay. So that's the that's an achievement that I just got because I'm playing on the review build. I don't think that that's going to transfer. I think I already obviously already have it in vanilla. I don't believe that trade relationships. Um, they do. Part of being in a trade relationship was here. It says that being in a trade league gives you diplomatic relations minus one. So it doesn't cost a relationship slot, but it reduces your number of relationship slots. So I don't... That means the same damn thing, basically. Aggressive expansion is pretty high. Forward to glory. Always. Forward to glory is awesome. The lasting jousting tournament. So, we're going to have to change our focus here in 15 years. We're going to end up with too many Diplo points. We just generate so few admin points. Oh, man, a revolt in Holland. Another one. Can we hire a cheap guy? Oh, these guys don't have enough influence. Which country or which estate do we want to have control this province? It's mostly base tax and development. Sorry, base tax and production. I'm thinking like we give that to the clergy or something and then we recruit a theologian. By doing that, we could get an extra little bit of admin points. That'd be pretty nice. We deny your petition. Who needs manpower, right? Dirk. Dirk's doing a good job. The Platinus attacking Alsace. I'm glad we were able to snipe Loon. That's pretty good. Got our core. 
No air in Scotland and he's 43 years old. Huh. I mean, that'd be, a, that'd be one way to move into the aisles, right? Something to consider. The chances of getting them to be friendly, though, are pretty low. But, if we were to rival England, it would probably happen. Oh, that's part of the issue. He's, he's rivaled to our ally. No wonder he hates us. Okay, I'm going to... Can I build a spy network in a subject state? Build on their overlord instead. So if I build a spy network here... I'm assuming we can still fabricate claims on their vassals? That would make sense. All right, that core is complete. Let's add it to a state. Instantly pay the remaining cost. Or do we want to try to get this idea group started up soon? I mean, we're going to give it to an estate anyway, right? So what's the point in paying the extra coring cost right now? Well, I suppose... Yeah, there's... there's. Oh, never mind. We have to do that if we want to give it to an estate. All right, fine. Do it. And then if we give it to the clergy... Let's increase their influence to 33.5%, which is good, so we do that. Then we negotiate with the clergy, and we seek support amongst them. Raise their influence even more. And then we recruit a theologian. First off, let's, uh, let's do this, and let's do a theologian. And then let's demand 100 admin points. Actually, now let's go crazy. Let's demand 150. And they're still very loyal. So we click all the buttons, yay. Um, and now we hire that theologian. It's gonna be that guy right there. We need 16 ducats. So between the 150 we took from the from the clergy, plus the fact that we have uh, one extra monarch point now, hopefully we will be able to get this administrative idea out of the way before we hit the diplo points cap. I'm not hopeful, though. I mean, we're generating 11 per month. We're going to hit the cap really, really soon. So, we'll see. Maybe we have to do some development or something. For now, though, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.